Did you ever wonder what the difference is between FPS and Joules? Then stay tuned because you are going to learn something today. So before we jump into the video, just a quick clarification because somehow YouTube didn't like the toys hanging on my wall and I had to blur out all this stuff. But I still hope you will enjoy the video and I have a proper solution for the upcoming videos already. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Airsoft Physics with Fabi, where I explain to you why UPB hits your target or not. I'm your host Professor Fabi and today I will talk to you about FPS versus tools and what is the difference. Each Airsoft Physics episode is based on the previous one, so make sure to start at the beginning. Otherwise, you will probably miss out on the basics on how a BB performs into the air. So, for the first episode, I want to start at the real basics. That's why we start with FPS versus tool. You guys might have seen on some Airsoft shops that some guns are advertised with tools or FPS. And today we're talking about the difference of these. And to start out with, I want to talk about joules. Joules are the unit for kinetic energy. E, K. Kinetic energy is basically the energy you need to give to an object to reach a certain velocity. So if you want to go 30 miles per hour with your car, you need to put energy into it to, to accelerate so it can reach the 30 miles per hour. Your BV needs a certain velocity to fly through the air. So we need to put energy into the BB so it can accelerate in the barrel and reach its speed and fly through the air. So let's see what's the equation for the kinetic energy. It's half times the mass of an object multiplied by the velocity squared. So. After we get the mass of our BB, which is in our example 0.2 gram, we need the velocity or the speed. And that's when FPS comes into the game. So what does FPS mean? <clears throat> F. F stands for feet. P per and S second. And this already brings us to the equation of speed, which is velocity equals distance divided by time. FPS is just a unit for speed. Where do we get FPS from? Usually from your chronograph. You shoot through the chronograph, there are two light barriers, the BB passes the first light barrier, once it passes the second light barrier, the chrono calculates back with this equation, the speed. Our chronograph showed us 500 FPS. So, our BB is leaving our gun barrel at a speed of 500 feet per second. In a later video, I will show you that only at the exiting of the barrel, your BB will have this speed. The farther the BB travels, it will lose energy and it also will lose its speed. And this is because another force called drag, which works against our BB. So drag makes our BB fly not as far as it might could be. But let's go back to our example and calculate the kinetic energy for our 0.2 gram BB. So what does our equation look like? We have EK kinetic energy equals half times the mass of the BB, 0.2 gram. And to get joules, we don't need grams, we need kilograms. One kilogram is a thousand grams, two kilograms. And now to get joules, we need our feet per second in meters per second. And one foot equals 0 0.3. What we do is we multiply our 500 feet per second 
by 0 0.3048 equals 152.4. That's the last piece of our puzzle to calculate the kinetic energy. So we put in here 145.2 squared and now our kinetic energy equals 2.38 joules. So what have we learned today? First of all, FPS is a unit for speed and joule is a unit for kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is needed to accelerate an object to a given speed. So without energy there is no FPS and also without speed there is no kinetic energy. We also learned to calculate the kinetic energy we need the mass or weight of our object and we need the velocity of this object we got from our chronograph. Also, if your field has an FPS limit, it's usually measured with 0.2 gram BBs. Because what happens if you put 0.4 gram BBs into your gun, put a really heavy spring in there to also shoot 500 FPS at this heavier weight? Exactly! You might kill people because your kinetic energy will rise a lot. Now, in a perfect world, you would just put a heavier BB into your usual gun and what will happen is the kinetic energy will stay the same while the velocity will go down by a lot. But as we go further into Earth physics you will learn that this is not always the case and it can be really dangerous to just put heavier weight BBs into your gun. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Airsoft Physics with Fabi. I was your host, Professor Fabi, and I can't wait for the episode 2 where I explain to you how your BB is defying gravity with a force called the Magnus Force, or in short, how your hop up works.